Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroader. It is pretty early in the morning here at day nine, and we find ourselves once again over at Appalachian Hardwoods. We've got a couple cars to drop off, and then I've got a bunch of empty hoppers we need to take over to the, uh, the new coal mine that's opened up. Uh, they called for some hoppers, so I brought those over from the interchange. We've done a bunch of switching on the way over here. Uh, had a car to drop off. Uh, let's see, I did some switching at Whittier. Uh, dropped off a car at Ella. And I think I had a couple for Bryson. And, and uh, we got these here for Appalachian. Then the last thing we have to do is haul those empties over to uh, Larka Junction. And I've looked at some tonnage charts that some people have made. And I think the mogul is going to be able to handle it because they're empty. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> We're still saving up money. I do want to get a bigger locomotive. I've been trying to run this railroad without going into debt at all. So... I could, you know, borrow $31,000 if I needed to, but I don't think I'll need to. We've got just over nine grand. And actually, let me go back to the milestones. Um, I forgot to uh, activate this before the day changed. So this will be tomorrow. The Y is finished. So we have go over here to Alarca Junction. So we've got the Y now. We can go around the passenger station and we can use the Y. But we have to build this part to actually get the rest of Alarca. I didn't realize there were two steps to that. Didn't, didn't look close enough. But uh, anywho, we're going to switch here and then we're going to run over and hopefully make it over to the coal mine today. We'll see how that goes. Let's dive in. So I've got this switch thrown. There's a couple different ways we could go about this. I've got two loaded cars. I need to swap them out for two empty cars. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, go down in there, grab the empties, stick the empties here, uh, and then I can spot the two loads. So like I said, there's a lot of different ways you can approach this. That's how I'm going to do it. No selected car. Very true. That is true game. I did not select a car. Maybe we'll just do this running around. Been doing a lot of flying around in the external camera. All right, so that is switched. Go ahead and control shift click. There we go. Beautiful angle. <laughs> so I think when we're cutting out the cars and stuff, I'll do that in, in first person. I went ahead and filled up with water and coal back there at Bryson, so we're good there. And then the cut of empty hoppers is sitting back at Bryson as well. I didn't want to be dragging that extra weight around while we were doing the switching. Plus, I want to be on the head end of that cut of cars as we head out. So we'll, when we get this switched, we'll head back to Bryson and run around the cars, or just back into the cars, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that empty, and then I'll grab the other empty. And let's get our... Just go ahead and turn our headlight off for now. Well, I think you're supposed to have it on dim. So. Let's start slowing down. Try to click these guys. Let's put those on red. And you can see this needs to go back to the interchange. All right, I forgot. I was going to do that in first person. So these guys are loaded up. I take that back. That one's. So this is for the outbound products, and then this is. The actual lumber that they're making stuff out of. Got it. Oh, it looks like we clip through the clip through the steps. Oh, the ramp doesn't have a collision. I wonder if that's supposed to have a collision. Doink. <laughs> nice. 
get a screenshot of that. I might report that as a bug. There we go. We'll go ahead and pull this out. We'll grab that other empty. Yeah, that one's empty. So lumber comes in there, and then the finished products go to the dock, looks like. WNC. I'm not sure what railroad that is. Oops. <laughs> Guess who forgot to move the reverser? Up here. Nice, beautiful day. I, I keep forgetting to change the weather. You can't set the weather with console commands. I think we'll probably have dynamic weather at some point. do how about this ramp this ramp also has no collision all right and that'll do two laced up Went a little fish eyed there. Wee! <laughs> yeah, now we got the empty, so we can set those out on the track. I'm not sure if this track's going to go somewhere someday or what purpose it serves. Right now, it just dead ends. So we need to go out to the second switch. is right up yonder here. Might need a little bit of throttle because we'll be heading into the grade. And the grade can help us stop, so that'll work. them coast on down and grab that window so we can throw the brake on hey that ought to do then where are we going first here r1 remember which one is r1 r1 is the that one all right yeah, so the lumber comes in on the first track, finished products on the second track. So I really appreciate uh, all the views and support this game is getting. I love it. I'm having a good time. I don't have a ton of time to play games so i've just been focusing on a railroader and y'all are loving it too so thanks for the views and the thumbs up and all the comments
Really appreciate it. NYO and Western, maybe? New York, Ontario, and Western. <laughs> Probably not. All right, let's hop off on the dock. Open that up and throw the handbrake on. I know, I've been leaving bottled air all over the place, but I do set the handbrake, so when it all leaks out, it'll stay put. Now we just need to spot this car back there at that other dock, and we are good to go. Love all the little details. So nice. All right, bring her on back. Then we're going to tackle the, uh, the grade over to Alarca. And I totally missed that. Let's see if I can hop up in the cab. There we go. Don't really see much from over here. Yeah, it'll work. That and let's go find the hand wheel here. Okay, let's get on out of here. I'm gonna grab those empties and we're gonna head back over to Bryson and I'll bring you back in when we're ready to head out with the hoppers. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I got those cars dropped off on the outbound track there. And we got, I think, nine. Yeah, we got nine empty hoppers here. And from what I've seen on the um, tonnage charts, we should be able to take a little over 300 tons up the grade over to Alarca Junction, and we're at 269. So I think we're going to make it. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and put down in the comments below <laughs> at whatever timestamp this is, whether you think I'm going to make it or not. I think I will. I have confidence in the old mogul here. Fully confident. Just, just listen to the confidence in that whistle. We totally got this. We totally maybe got this. Should be lined up to uh, get on out of here and head up the grid. And we'll go ahead and clean up the switches behind us as we move on out. Now, if these were loaded, there's no way we'd make it. But I think with the empties at, you know, 269 tons, I think we're going to be okay. All right, that's all cleaned up. That's all cleaned up. Let's head on down the line. About 10-ish percent. Just cruise on out of the yard here. Stick your head out the window. Feel the, feel the air blow through your hair. 
Good times. So I think we can we can do about uh, 25-ish once we get out of the yard. Is there a sign up here somewhere? Well, a yard limit sign somewhere I missed. I think we're okay. I think these switches are good for 30, at least based on how the AI drives. Two greens, so we are aligned to uh, head for the hill. Here we go. Don't know what the optimum uh, reverser setting is. Kind of seems like we're feeling the grade here. I know it's steep right here where we parked the cars. about 40 percent we picked up a little bit there going across the bridge now we're going to hit this curve and then we start hitting the grade and there's a way to check the grade i think it's like shift slash and then hover over the track i forgot to do that in the last video yeah there we go 1.2 percent steadily increasing Oh, so if you hold that down. Yeah, it's only 1.3 and 1.2 along here, so not terrible. Again, I don't know what the ideal reverser setting is. Seems to be doing all right at 40%. back her off a little bit. Yeah, starting to lose speed. Ooh, we're getting closer to 2% up through here. 1.7. What's that sign say? 30. Alright, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Ooh, yeah, we're feeling it. We're feeling it now. I don't know if that's the steepest part. There's definitely a tone change as we hit the steeper part, though. You can see how far we've climbed. There's the river down there. Whee! Flowing water? Cool. I never really paid that much attention. And if I remember right, we got some, yeah, we got some steep turns up here. How are we doing on grade? Back down to 1%. We get, uh, yeah, we don't get any info when you hover over those. It's handy in Deer Roll Valley how you can have a mode where you can see distant signals and switches and stuff. And we're 
pick up a little bit of speed again. But we can't go over uh, 25. Which I don't think will be too much of a problem. <laughs> I don't think we get any reverb effects through the cuts or anything. Just checking. Yeah, there's our uh, there's our 25 marker. It's not going to be a problem. How is the grade looking? 1.2. Go back to 40%. Just wonder how much water and everything we're blowing through here. I don't think in this view I can tell. See the water level and I can see the coal level though. Doing just fine so far. Now I need to throw the switch before we get to Al Alarka. So we're going to go around the uh, passenger train that stopped there. I'm just coming around this sharp turn here. Terrain. Oh, it gives you like an X, X, Y coordinate. So if you hold shift forward slash and then you hover, it tells you what's under your mouse. Cool. Well, we're not speedy, but we're making it. We're through the tight part. We come on into Hemingway. Look at that. Battling up the grade. We'll get a screenshot. All right, I think I'm gonna have the uh, AI take over. Yeah, we'll just tell him track speed. At your own discretion. And then I'm gonna go make sure we got all the uh, switches lined up. Nice little cut through there. Uh, I think this is a pulpwood spur. I saw uh, somebody's made a nice map over on the Railroader Discord. If you're not on the Railroad or Discord, you should definitely uh, check it out. There's a lot of good resources over there. Uh, bug reports, all that good stuff. Somebody has made a detailed map that shows all the spurs with car links and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just route him. I route him around? No, let's do this. we we'll can just get rid of the flare. We can put the flare back down. And we'll come through there and then right up around the corner here. We've got the passenger train. Oh, that's right. I got those cars. I need to, uh, need to push them onto the leg of the Y and then we can use this track to go around to get up to the coal mine. All right, so we are all aligned. Jump back over here. I don't think he's going to have any trouble getting over there. Uh, but if he does, I'll bring it back in. Okay, we're easing on to the siding here at Alarca Junction. And we're going to push these cars on through. Uh, I think I saw 1 1.5, 1.6. This is about the steepest between these two, so about the same as from Bryson to Hemingway. Oh, that was a little aggressive, wasn't it? Didn't expect to lose all my momentum that quickly. Hey, 
There we go. That'll do. So let's get this laced up and get that handbrake off. And we'll let the train pump up. Settle out any uh, forces it's got there in the slack. Then we'll just store those uh, cars right here on the leg of the Y, like I said. We can get these empties, hopefully up to the coal mine. I know it's pretty steep. <laughs> There's a 15 mile an hour limit, so... But we, at least we got them over to the junction with the Mogul. But uh, I've been looking at other locomotives. I might go with just the bigger Mogul, and then I could have this guy for the logging. But we need to make a little more money before we can buy another locomotive. Like we got a bit of a downhill here. Got a lot of cars, 20 cars. We got a lot of braking power. And I think that'll do. I think this is on a grade, so I'm going to go ahead and tie a couple of these handbrakes on. Oh, that's right. That was in the bug report. There's no animation for that. Can we see the uh, can we see the brake shoes move? Yeah, the brake shoes move, but there's no an handle animation. All right. Another good reason to hang out on the Discord. You can keep an eye on current known bugs and know if they've already been reported or not. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Let's unhook the stupid train. <laughs> there we go. Now we're good. All right, can we back up? Let's find out. No problem. We're looking for own pad. Oh, they're almost full. Good. I can get them headed back towards Whittier. I wasn't sure how many runs per day I needed to do. I did an early morning run to get over here. I may check some of the other stations. We might be doing three or four runs a day. Need to quit talking and start driving the train here, buddy. All right, we got you switched to get around through there. And then what we got over here? We need to throw that one. And then we need to throw this one. And we should still be, yeah, we're still lined up into there. So 15 mile an hour restriction there. And it doesn't look like the gradient. Well, now it does work. I guess I was doing it wrong. Oh, it only works so far from the locomotive. Got it. Yeah, that works in the external camera as well. Alrighty, here we go. 263 tons. Let's see if we can make her on up to the coal mine. Jump to the back here. These all go to R1, R2, right? Yeah, R1 or R2. So we'll figure figure out where that's at.
Alright, we might as well hit this with a little extra speed. And we'll just hope for the best. Robinson Gap. I believe that's us. Kind of let the train slow down naturally. So we ease into the curve here. We'll see what she can do or let her talk. Got slowed down a little more than I intended, but we're actually picking up a little bit of speed. So that's a good sign. A little bit of a gully here. A couple toots so they know we're coming up. They should hear us blasting up the grade here. Where are we going? No idea. Let's see if we can get up to the yard and we'll figure it out. Uh oh. Right in that zone where it switches back and forth between the sound effects. All right, so it's a little bit of a struggle. 262 tons, but we did make it. So, question is, where are we going? On up around the curve, it looks like. So let's just make sure we're lined up. I'm guessing it, oh, we have to push in. So we have to run around. Didn't make it there in time, but we can use these tracks to run around it. So really I had to pull in here and then run around for future reference. That'd be what we want to do. All right, good to know. It looks like it's the two tracks up at the top end there is where these want to go. Yeah, those two tracks up there. Okay, we'll just ease on into this siding. That is plenty. We'll go ahead and get a uh, pretty good reduction on these guys. So we can come to a stop. And we're on a, a decent grade, right? Yeah, we're on a 1.4% grade here on the yard. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. So I think we'll tie on lots of handbrakes. So you get a handbrake. And you get a handbrake. And you get a handbrake. We'll try three. And that should, in theory, hold. So let's get the independent all on. And we'll do a little bit of a, a rollback test here. Loco settles in against the cars, and we're not moving. Good deal. I didn't change those lights. Somebody probably yelled at me in the comments. Closed. Pull the pin.
Wait for me! Okay, we'll just run up around and push those in and we'll be good to go. I don't know how many uh, cars each track holds. I meant to have that map pulled up and I forgot to pull it up. It would tell me how many cars that track holds. Very handy. And again, you can find that on the, uh, I think it's called Community Resources channel on the uh, Railroader Discord. Link to that and all the other important links are in the video description, as always. See, we're already starting to roll backwards. Is this whole shebang on a grade? Sure is. Wow. Even these tracks? Wowzers. Okay. Everything's on a grade. Good to know. All right, we're going to throw that back. And I should have thrown that switch, but that's okay. We'll get there. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, as they say. And let's go here. And we'll just let her roll on down. Let gravity do its thing. I think all these cars will fit on one track. We'll see. One thing I need to look at is the return trip. I don't think there's much uh, downgrade on the way over here. So I don't think there would be much oops, grade problem going back with loads, but something I definitely need to look into. We're, uh, we're stressing the little G16 to its limit. chunk <laughs> think we're there well here let's continue the trend of doing this in person forgot I had this hose open back here it's alright we'll blow some dirt out of the hoses now we're all good okay we got the uh, locomotive set Let's hope it can hold. If not, we'd have... Should have enough air in here to hold it. If I have to apply the brakes. Yeah, looks like she's holding fast. Alright, let's jump back in the loco and get these things shoved up there and call a day. We will head back with those empties on the spur back there. Uh, but that's not very exciting. All right, we got that going. Is that? Okay, it's hard to tell if that's on bright or dim. Okay, make sure I think I had everything lined up. Yeah, we're all lined up. Except for that guy. And we'll just shove in there. Should have room. These aren't perfectly straight. I like it. Yeah, 1.7% up here. Wow. We'll definitely be making use of some handbrakes.
Don't need to go too terrible fast. But yeah, we got plenty of room in the siding. Okay, we made it. <laughs> we made it. All right, we get handbrakes. Lots of handbrakes. Although the handbrakes in this game do seem to be really stout, so I think we're good there. Just to be on the safe side. So I wonder what happens. Do these fill up and spawn down on those other tracks? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with these cars. Since this should be like the empties delivery, or maybe they just respawn here as full. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Alrighty, cars delivered. See, I've got a bunch of uh, stuff that needs to head back to the interchange. So that's my return list. <laughs> That'll be it for this one, though, folks. Thanks, as always, for hanging out. I'll catch you in the next Railroader adventure. Take care.